Bucket of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and in the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, I invite the children to come forward for the children's message. All right. Old habits die hard. That's fine. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Any of you out hunting? Out hunting? Any of you? No? Okay. Hunting. Getting deer. No? Okay. Too bad it's not turkey hunting season. You know what I just saw sitting out the field next to me? It's a big, probably 25-pound turkey just sitting in the middle of the field just looking at me. But too bad. What do I have here? Rice. And what can you tell me about this rice? Huh? Okay. Do you eat it right now? Why not? It's cold, it's not cooked, right? It's not ready to be eaten, right? Well, you actually can't eat it. It's just not very good. We are a lot like this rice. Yeah, we're a lot like that rice. We're not quite there yet. We're not quite ready yet. We're on our way, right? You remember we were all baptized. Some of you might remember your baptism. Some of you don't. I remember my baptism, right? That is sort of like when the rice was put into the water, and it started soaking up the water in the hot water and boiling. Sort of the same thing. And as we go through life, we get closer and closer to a day, and we don't know when that day will be, but we get closer and closer to a day when we will be with Jesus in heaven. We don't know when day is, all right? Listen to what John writes in his, in his epistle. He writes, Beloved, we are God's children now. So right now, we are God's children, all of us, right? And what we will be has not yet appeared. So you don't know what you're going to be five seconds from now, let alone in heaven, right? In five seconds from now, all your hair could fall out. Wouldn't that be great? In five seconds, you could grow from that tall to that tall. Wouldn't that be great? Some of you would like that. Okay. But what we do know, what we do know is that when he appears, we're going to be just like him. And when you think of Jesus, what do you think of? What do you think he looks like? right now? I don't know either. But I can tell you that he has a glorious body in heaven. And we will too, right? How many of you ever have aches and pains? Break a leg, break a knee, break a finger. You wake up in the morning, you don't want to wake up. Your eyes hurt because of the bright light. Yeah. See, it won't be that way in heaven, right? It won't be that way. But until then, when that day comes, whenever that is, until then, we have a life to live. And we have to remember our baptisms. We have to remember that God has called us his children right now today. And that for the rest of our lives, we will always be his children. And we can be confident of that because he has told us, okay? So right now, we're something like this rice. Maybe we got a little bit of, maybe we're a little bit closer to being eaten, but not quite yet. Now and not yet is what, what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So who's the tallest here? Let's close in a prayer and then we'll go get your candy. Who's the tallest? One of you two. All right, we'll go get the candy. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for giving us your life, for calling us your beloved, for baptizing us and claiming us as your own. Constantly remind us that even though life might be long or might not be, you may return tomorrow, but until you return, constantly remind us that you love us and forgive us so that we can always look to you. We ask this in your name. Amen. Okay, who's ever taller, go get the candies and hand them out. And while they're doing that, we'll continue with our sermon hymn. 